I've been waiting for Dylan to do something like this for the longest time. He puts so many different things into the Pokemon games and battles with them. He puts anime characters in, he puts video game characters in, and he's finally invited me on. And I know it's a bit interesting watching me react to a video that I technically was in, but I don't know the thought process that went into this. He used one of my favorite video game characters of all time. I'm super excited. Dylan's always on the ball with adding these modded Pokemon into the game and having them battle against actual Pokemon to see how they would work, see how they would function as Pokemon. I think it's really interesting. He's super smart. And that's enough of me dick riding. Dylan, it's time to get into the video. The God of Pokemon, while Kratos is the God of War. Two amazing video games with clear differences. One has frame rate issues that causes anger, while the other one just flat out has anger issues. <laughs> Kratos in five he's working on his scripts, isn't he? He's been, he's been working on that, those little jokes, let's see. Other video game characters into Pokemon and then using them in a real battle. Kratos becoming the God of War and having his several daddy issues to where he murders everyone clearly makes him a fighting type. But Obviously. Also, the first thing I notice in these videos is that there is so much Fire Emblem Three Houses music. I don't know the exact name of this one. I just spent... Like five minutes trying to find the song that was in the background of this. Several daddy issues to where he murdered. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Today, I'm turning Kratos and five other video game characters into Pokemon and then using them in a real battle. Kratos. And, and it's, it's this one. Yes, he found it. Oh, it's such a good theme. Fire Emblem Three Houses is such a good OST. And Dylan's editor is so smart for using music from it. Oh, it's so good. I'm so glad I found that. I literally just hyperfixated on that for a second. Sorry. But I really struggled on what to give him as a second typing. I, I guess. Wait, I already watched this. I already know what it is. Okay, you you guess. You guess. I already know what this is. I was going to make a guess. I was like, wait, I'm literally in this video. I know what type it is. Maybe fire because his blades are always engulfed in flames or a steel type for all the various weapons he wields. Which reminds me, we're only focused on Kratos all the way up until God of War 3 with all of his Greek mythology. There is a very good answer to this question, by the way. The video, if you want to see him again, from his more recent games. Anyways, yeah, I struggled for his second typing, but then it just clicked one day. In his backstory, we learn Kratos burned a temple and accidentally killed his wife and daughter inside. The village Rough. oracle cursed him and turned his skin to white ash for his horrible deed. This gave him his title, the Ghost of Sparta. Yeah, that's smart, man. You can't deny, that's really smart. 80 base stat total with all around good stats, but excelling in attack. This man killed He's not very Ares, fast. Poseidon, Hades, Zeus, and more, so he has to have insane strength. So his ability Ability is Blades of Exile, similar to Intrepid Sword. These are the weapons he began his journey with in God of War 3, and this gives him a plus one attack boost when he's sent into battle as a Pokemon. That's a really good idea. Maybe if he had, if there's, is there some kind of ability that boosts your damage the more damage that you take? Like you take damage and then you end up doing more damage out because if there's not, there should be an ability that does that. And also that would kind of work for Kratos because he takes a lot of punishment. He takes so much punishment. Then his hidden ability would be the Blades of Olympus, similar to Sharpen, giving him a 50% boost for slashing attacks. Then give him moves like Behemoth Blade, Saker Sword, Nice Slash, and Bitter Blade to fit his hack and slash fighting style. Dude, it works so well. Like Behemoth Blade, he's got a big sword. Sacred Sword, it's sacred. They're from gods. Bitter Blade, he's bitter because he's Kratos. Of course he's bitter. Next, let's take a swing at a character that billions <laughs> wanted to make it into Smash Bros. I just had whiplash. I just had an emotional whiplash. We're going from this incredibly powerful, emotional story of Kratos, the ghost of Sparta, to fucking Waluigi's. <laughs> Waluigi is the rival of Luigi, introduced during Mario Tennis of the N64. Similar to how Wario is to Mario, although Wario would go on to get his own games and join the ultimate showdown of Smash Brothers. But this mustachioed gentleman would never receive his letter. I heard that in theory, the reason Nintendo is not a massive fan of Waluigi, and I don't know if this is true, is because Waluigi was originally created, and I think maybe is owned, well, I don't think he's owned by, but it was originally created by someone that doesn't actually work at Nintendo. Like, this is a, not a Nintendo creation because it was made by the person that made Mario Tennis, or it was one of those Mario sports games. He doesn't actually work at them, so maybe he has something to do with that. I'm not really sure, that could just be internet rumors, internet lies. <laughs> you know, people lie on the internet sometimes. They do tell a little bit of fibs, don't they? Waluigi. Although he did get a guest star appearance, in my opinion, the best Mario Party of all time. Mario Party 3! 
I still get chills from the intro. Oh, so much nostalgia. He even got his own board in that game, so let's go ahead and make him a Pokemon. Off the bat to me, he's gonna be a normal type. In a battle where you have Kratos, the Slayer of Gods, he's pretty average in comparison. You know, this might bad. be the most bizarre video I've ever done. We go from Zeus, I'll rip your arms off and feed him to the dogs. I can't believe how obsessive I was over finding which freaking Fire Emblem Three Houses OST number did they use this video. Two. Wow. Honestly, I think I nailed those two impressions. I think I killed the God of War. Like he does he does that a lot. But yeah, he's a normal type. And since he's the rival to the hero Luigi, Dark is very fitting as well. While Luigi is seen as very arrogant in the spin-off games, it often cheats to win. Since he's not in any fighting type game, there's only one spin-off game to build around his stats. Mario Tennis. Surprisingly, he's a defensive character with a long reach, decent power, and slow. But with the Well Luigi would be great at boxing. He has those big gangly limbs. I bet he could put some serious muscle mass on his frame. Giant legs, like, dude, how are you freaking slow? He's also known for tantrums that he throws whenever he loses, so the ability anger point is perfect for him. Whenever he gets critted, he gets a max attack and attempt to cheat and win, so we could call it cheater. <laughs> then, of course, the ability has to be long reach, allowing him to use moves without making contact. Perfect for those lanky arms. Although Waluigi has, like, the least amount of backstory and lore in the Mario universe, look at his stats. Pretty dang good as a Poke. Yeah, look at this. That's a pretty balanced. Like 105 attack makes sense because if you like those long ga gangly limbs, he's gonna be doing some gum gum punches. He does fake out, body slam, knock off, and sucker punch, which all makes sense for his character as well. Like knock off, he could be trying to like steal items, fake out. He's gonna hit you with those moves before you're ready. Sucker Punch is literally like surprise attack and Body Slam is, uh, makes sense. Oh, come on. Next up, let's go with a fighting game that has such an iconic theme. From this game, there's an endless roster to choose from to make a Pokemon, all with exciting moves, power, and lore. But there's one character that always stood out to me as a kid. Get over here! Actually, sorry, it's, it's not Scorpion. Um, but, what? You know, hey, subscribe and maybe you'll see him next time. Let's go with the God of Thunder, Raiden. He has an Why am I acting surprised? I was in this video. If this doesn't show you how bad my memory is, it's not that I wasn't paying attention when we recorded this. It's just we recorded this a few weeks ago, and it's I have my goldfish memory. Same storyline, but he's best known for trying to be the protector of the Earth Realm, in which at one point he even gives up his immortality in trying to save them. Now, the main Mortal Kombat game that I played was Mortal Kombat Deception for the PS2 and GameCube, so I tried my best to do research for this one, not trying to piss off any fans. Obviously, he's an electric type, but like, what do I give him as a secondary typing? I mean, fighting is right there, right? It's a brutal game with blood and gore, and they're always fighting in this world. But that means every time I do a Mortal Kombat character like Sub-Zero, Scorpion, anyone like that, they always have to be a fighting type. I guess it could also just be electric by itself because he's the God of Thunder, so it makes sense for him just to be electric. And it's just really easy to tack that on to any character I ever think of in any of these videos. So I try to think outside the box. For Raiden, I was thinking a fairy type, and here's why. No, he's not a fairy, but this typing was introduced into Pokemon as basically the light type. It counters dark, dragon, and fighting types. And Raiden was always trying to keep the peace in Earth Realm, so it made sense to me. Except- And he's against the dark. And I guess dragons are evil, if you're racist. That one arc where he kind of goes rogue and becomes Dark Raiden, but we won't talk about that. Electric typing for being the god of thunder, and fairy for fighting for peace and justice. But this is where things get really hard. That's what she said. Because Raiden is also a god like Kratos. In these videos, I typically try to have one box art legendary and one pseudo. So we'll go ahead and make Raiden the pseudo legendary. Yo, imagine I actually made Waluigi the pseudo legendary with Raiden right after. That makes sense. Raiden is a legend, right? But he still fights normal people. Kratos fights actual gods in his game. He could own any normal guy, but in Mortal Kombat, you could play as a guy from the street and maybe you'd be able to beat him. If you hit your combos right and you do your finishes correctly, you could be up Raiden. After him. Raiden is a solid mix attacker with Thunder Punch, Thunderbolt, and Light of Ruin. And tack on the ability God of Thunder to boost up his electric type moves. Oh, he's fast. This next one might be for those only that were born before 2000. I don't know how long this game stayed popular and for it coming directly after Raiden is just hilarious. Everyone welcome Club Penguin. The Club Penguin is one of my biggest gamer regrets. When I was growing up, I never played Club Penguin. Even though it was so big, it was never something that I found myself in the circles of. Everyone always has these memes, these references that I cannot partake in. It's my saddest tale. It's my one weakness. It is my most distraught situation. I never played Club Penguin. Never, not one time. This was the game in middle school. That and RuneScape. Alongside RuneScape. That and RuneScape, dude! I literally said RuneScape before I did. 
I never played RuneScape either. That RuneScape and World of Warcraft, even though I did try to play World of Warcraft once, I bought it at a game shop and I went home and I couldn't wait to install it. I tried to install it. I tried to make it work, except I had AOL dial-up internet at the time and I literally could not log on to the game. So maybe that saved me. Maybe that saved my life because who knows, if I was able to log on to World of Warcraft and start playing, I might not be here today. I, I might be playing World of Warcraft instead. A job at the pizzeria, going sledding or having a disco party. Man, I just have so many memories with this game. Easily a water and ice type and probably the weakest on the team, but still good special attack. Like, listen, I can't put a basic penguin within 100 base stats of Raiden, the God of Thunder. For his ability, I was really happy with this one, Slush Rush. You know, cause he's always sledding down snow Oh, I think it was really fitting. I'm still really excited for this one, but no doubt that Club Penguin isn't going to be the craziest Pokemon on this team. He's so cute though. He is the mascot of the team. So you could say that he's not the attacker. He's not the biggest boy, but he's the mascot. Right, back to some more real games. This next character I really only knew from Kingdom Hearts, but he's originally from Final Fantasy IX. Everyone welcome Vivi. Even though I haven't personally I played Final, played Final, Final Fantasy IX, I just adore Vivi from his scenes in Kingdom Hearts. I just want to give him a hug. This was actually suggested from someone on Twitter or X. God, I hate that so much. But I needed one more character and I really felt Vivi was a perfect fit. So Follow me on United Hayes and you might be featured in a future video or comment down below what character you would like to see. Back to okay, what, what character do I want to see? Ooh, that's a tough one. Because you want to go for characters that are leaning into being fighters in some kind of way, I guess. My favorite game series is, is like Mass Effect, Bioshock, I guess now Baldur's Gate. Maybe it's a bit too soon to put a Baldur's Gate character in. Maybe they're a little bit off the presses fresh. They wouldn't really fit. What would you want to see? What do you think you should put in? And don't tell me, go into his video and tell him. Typing it in my comment section isn't going to do anything. He's, he's not going to read my comment section. The owl bear from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> to Vivi, he's a black mage with a range of spells to choose from for his attacks. I felt for this video, he could be a dark type for being a black mage with the ability Focus, his special ability in Final Fantasy. In that game, it boosts his magical power. So I felt in a way it could work in Pokemon like Libero or Protean, boosting his Thundaga or Blizzaga by making it stab and doing 50% more damage. Damage. To balance him out, he's got weak defenses, so he can't really take a hit, but he can dish some really good damage. I love this guy, and with moves like Thunder, Fire Blast, and Blizzard, it's just so fitting for a mage. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Is Final Fantasy IX the one that came out in Western countries? Is Final Fantasy III? Or is that Final Fantasy VI? I'm gonna be honest, Final Fantasy confuses the ever-loving everything out of me. I played so many of the games, couldn't tell you what happens in any of them. Final Fantasy is so confusing. I remember playing a Final Fantasy DS game at some point, and I also remember playing Final Fantasy VI, which was Final Fantasy III in the West on PlayStation 1, because I specifically remember this lass rolling around in her mech suit, and I thought, wow, that's cool, but I didn't have a PlayStation memory card, so I couldn't save it. So every time I wanted to play Final Fantasy, I had to restart and do the first battle and the first boss over and over again, and it was that bloody snail, and Anyway, go on, Dylan. Now, this last character I chose specifically for my opponent today, Patters. I know he's in love with the game Bioshock, so I thought yes. Big Daddy would be a perfect Pokemon for him to see. Unironically, yes. that's my nickname, too. That's, uh, I don't know if that's true, Dylan. Yeah, is that believable, uh, Matt? No. But actually, this is what was so cool. I decided on Big Daddy months ago. And in that same tweet where someone suggested Vivi, Patters responded and asked for Big Daddy. Not only yes! that, he gave it the exact same typing that I was going to do, water and steel. If Me and Dylan were just connected like that. We're like, we're like brothers. We're like brothers, except he's, he's American. I'm British. He drinks sweet tea. I, I don't drink that. He's handsome, cool, talented, intelligent, has a wonderful family has a beautiful home, has fantastic dogs, and, and, I, and I have a cat. If you don't know the Bioshock lore, Big Daddy suits were originally used for divers to fix the issues of Rapture, but they- Okay, I'm actually curious as to how accurate he is with the lore here, because I'm going to be one of those YouTube commenters that's like, um, actually, technically it wasn't this, it was this, this, and this. <laughs> actually got a much more important role. In this universe, the most crucial thing isn't money or gold, it was Adam, a genetic substance able to rewrite your genetic material and basically give you supernatural abilities. Everyone was literally killing people for it. It was originally in a slug, but then scientists learned if someone died and had Adam in their DNA, it could be ripped from their genes and still distributed. And one scientist created the little sisters to be the ones to harvest the DNA. But this created 
created a big issue. Although they were the only ones to do it, they had no way to fight off even the smallest of enemy, and that's where the Big Daddies came into play. They were formed to be the protectors of the Little Sisters, and scientists would literally create a bond between the Little Sisters and the Big Daddy by applying a pheromone, so that they would constantly watch over them and protect them. It was eventually successful, and a strong paternal instinct was placed, hence the name forming Big Daddy. That's a very quick explanation on yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah, he nailed it. That's <laughs> free. It's free accurate. Like that's the that's the quick way of explaining. That's a TLDR. That's well done. You did a great, Dylan. You did a great job. For someone who hasn't played the game, you did a freaking great job. Very. Where is the big sister? Oh. Oh, there, there is a big sister. Here is the big sister. The big sister's in Bioshock 2. The big sister is actually a little sister that was rescued in the original Bioshock and has come back to Rapture and uh, is now fucking crazy. Where's the little daddy? Okay, there's no little daddy. Very interesting and detailed lore, but I try my best. And it had to be done to explain the reasoning behind the ability. Parental bond. Like, come on, is that not so That's fitting? Wrong. Whether you love Bioshock or you've never played it, this I is love it. perfect for the character. Also, it'd mean a lot to me if you like this video and subscribe because the amount of time and yeah, work that okay, goes in these okay. videos is insane. Wait, Dylan, I already liked it and I already subscribed. Hey, listen, you. Yeah, yeah, you. Why aren't you subscribed to United Plays? You should do it. Come on, man. His videos are so good, dude. I'm doing the research, typing up the script, the video being edited, models being made. It's a lot of work. I try my best to create the most unique Pokemon videos I can think of. So thank you to all of you who support me. Now for the moves, we'll give him Drill Run, Waterfall, Double Iron Bash, and Heavy Slam. Okay, so let's have a look at the stats here. We got Heavy Slam, that makes sense. We got Double Iron Bash, Drill Run, and Waterfall is an interesting one. I guess it, you kind of need it for the stab, but that makes sense. The speed being low is interesting because you could actually, <laughs> you can make the speed pretty big for a Big Daddy because they come at you quick. At least the Bouncer variations, which is the one that we're looking at right now, the Drill variation. There are other variations. There's ones that use a Rivet Gun is a weapon and they use uh, Proximity Mines. There are ones that use Rocket Launchers. There are ones that use Lasers, but this one, this one can use, move pretty rapido. Rapid as full. Commit. This bulky physical attacker will do great in today's battle, and I can't wait to see Pat's reaction. All right, Pat, I'm happy to finally have you in one. Oh of these no, videos, there's two of me. I just want to say I'm really excited for you to see all of these, especially a few oh, of them. Yes, please. Oh my God, I'm so. <laughs> yes. Okay, so if you're wondering why I reacted before, I see his Pokemon come out first. Um and then he sees mine. So on this gameplay, it's swapped. I saw his big daddy come up first. I, That's my guy! I specifically picked this Pokemon for you. It has to be water steel because it's a diving suit. It is water steel. I I'm just really- Dude, I mean, this model is so good. To put into sword and shield, it's so well done. I, I love it, yeah, man. You're getting a witness. It looks like, almost like the model that was taken from PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Uh, Big Daddy and Little Sister here. But I'm really kind of sad that you led with an Electro-type. I have no Ground-type on my team, so I don't have a great switch in. Obviously, I gotta get out of here. here. Yeah, C can I can I guess its stats? Is it like high attack, high defense, low speed? Is it like yep, that kind of thing? literally, you're on the dot. Oh, Raiden, oh, okay. I, we got a little mole combat going on. Yep. I like it. Okay, Ooh. all right, we took it just enough. You crit me, Pat, how dare you on my video? Sorry, this is so awkward because I feel, I felt so nervous going to this fight because he spent so long making these. He's modeled it, he's made the stats, he's created the script for the video, he's thought so long about the abilities, the moves, everything that's going into this. And if I just come in and I'm like, oops, one shot at it. And all of that work goes down the drain and he can't show it off and I feel really bad. And these videos, they're not, obviously, they're not scripted. He just said, he literally told me, just bring a good team. Like, not a great team, not a weak team. Just bring a good team and just play normally. And I was like, okay. But I was trying to make his video good. And I was worried that I would one-shot things. And then if something dies, I'm going to feel really bad because he put so much effort into stuff. And then I just ruined it by killing it immediately. <laughs> I know I know you're like an electric gods kind of power character. My bad. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> this thing is tough because I don't, I mean, I know it's going to be electric, but it's probably going to be fighting type because it's a more combat character. It's Oh, uh, well, I made a, a mistake there, didn't I? Not an electric type. What? Or not not a fighting type, excuse me. Oh, okay. No, that actually makes sense. Sorry, oh. I got a scarper. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to name Blizzard. Oh, I'm okay with this then. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Right. Oh, oh, Look whoa, at that whoa. damage, baby. That's huge. But you know what? Enough with the God of Thunder. It's no, time for no, Luigi, no. baby. <laughs> His hands are so big. A game where he can fight. He looks like he's gonna karate chop. Oh, fake out, okay. Little slap, slap him on the face. Slap. Just a little tad bit, a little tad. Come on, Waluigi, put in the work, baby. Place in, you got this. So, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. 
Okay, Let's poison go. dog. Waluigi got a kill in his debut as a Pokemon. Everyone better smash the like button for that. Okay, come on. Waluigi. I already did it, Dylan. I can't do it again. Kill. I'm thinking it's Poison Dark. That's what I'm thinking. That seems like it would make sense. You oh, have one of those I was typings wrong. right. You have one of those typings correct. He didn't tell me the typings beforehand, so I just have to guess. I just have to figure it out. Which is actually really hard. When you go into a battle, you usually know all the Pokemon's typings because, you know, you, you battle against them so many times. When you go into a fight against these, you have no idea. You don't know what you're facing against. So you could use an electric type move on a ground type. You have no idea. You can only make an educated guess. Then Dylan helps you out along the way. It is a dark and something. How fast can Waluigi really be? I know he's got those long legs and he's got those shoes for running, but you would think he's fast. He's not. He's not. What so I'm just gonna what? sucker punch again. Okay, ow, ow, ow. All right. Oh, I thought maybe you'd try and switch out, but this is still gonna do good damage to you anyway. Okay. So oh, huge. Didn't work. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> He's dismantling me a little bit, but uh, it's okay because I have the perfect answer to this now. You can't suck a punch. Lord the Lord Ruler. Ruler. Oh, god. god. So you. Does anyone know what? Hold on. You can't see it. Does anyone know what this nickname is a reference to? The Lord Ruler. S There's one person. One guy. One freaking guy in the comments section got it. One guy. And I thought it was a really cool name. I think Lord Ruler is a sick name in general, but I also really like the reference because it kind of makes sense in a way as well. You're gonna e-speed me. Okay, all right, no, we get it. No, no, I'm just, I'll tell you later, so don't. Ha, I lied. Waluigi goes down, that's okay. <laughs> Waluigi fell to his only, his only uh, weakness, God. <laughs> the whole point of this video is to build up this exact battle. Do you have any guess right now on what God I'm about to send out? Dude, there's so many. There's like infinite gods in video game. Wait, wait, is it Kratos? Die, mortal. Kratos oh with God. the Blades of Exile. <laughs> that is so sick. Well, I mean, listen, you may be the God of War, but Arceus is the God of pretty much everything. So I, oh, oh, I can't. Oh, wait, you're the ghost of Sparta. So. There you go. Let's go. I love having you on the channel because you just, you're just so smart and educated and cultured. But That's crazy because Dylan constantly says that I'm dumb all the time. Literally Dylan and his wife Lex said verbatim, I don't know why I thought Pat was smart. <laughs> Which is fair. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely not smart. Are you faster than 120 speed? I don't know if you are. He's EQ. not. He's not faster. How much is this gonna do? <laughs> what? I did oh nothing. My God. I did nothing. He's a god of war. Dude, this guy went and killed Zeus <laughs> and he killed Ares. Oh he one shots Arceus. Goodbye. He killed every god in the Greek. Just add that to the list, baby. He's killed what, like 20 gods now. He's killed everyone in the Greek pan pantheon. He's He's, he's done the Norse Pantheon. He's gonna probably do the Egyptian one next. He's working his way through the Pokemon Pantheon now as well. And everyone in the Norse Pantheon, and now he's gone for the Pokemon ones. Wait, I said that in the video? Oh my God, oh my God. I literally just repeated what I said in the video verbatim. What? <laughs> what I just <laughs> This was recorded weeks ago. I don't have the conversations in my head. I mean, I know I, that's, that just sounds like something I would say. I can't, I literally, wow. I just said the same freaking thing. It's on pre-watch that was in the video. Okay, I was in it, but I don't remember the conversations that I had exactly. I just remember a vague idea of what might have been said. I didn't know that I was, oh, you go a plus to attack Draco. boost. I do have a pluck okay. attack. Oh. This is weeks ago, man. I don't remember exactly what I said. Oh, fast. You see, you see those little wings going? You can go pretty, pretty speedily. Oh, okay. I, I don't know how fast he is, but I imagine oh, a little flying clearly scripted. is good. Yeah! Rest in peace. <laughs> Wait, oh no, he's, he's fairy. Oh, what are you gonna do now, Pat? What are you gonna do now, buddy? <sighs> That's a good question, Dylan. That's a very good question. Well, you're a fairy type, so obviously uh, I'm gonna have to switch out. Yeah. Psych! Um, Sucker punch, baby. <laughs> it didn't kill. It didn't kill. Oh no, it didn't kill. I, I I constantly overestimate how good Flapple actually is. It's really not that good. It's just not that strong. I did not expect you to like just stay in like that. So I was just gonna Volt Switch. I thought okay. that it would kill, to be fair. Yeah, honestly, Raiden's got really good defense, not the best special defense. You know how before this battle, I was like, there's one character that you might not know. Is is this the one? My brain's pretty big. Club Penguin, of course I know Club okay, Penguin. yeah. Okay, I can't believe I Dylan thought I wouldn't sure. know Club Penguin. If you got that in the UK. Sorry, we're deprived. We don't have Club in the UK. Okay. Oh, bye. oh wait. That's also true. And I didn't actually play it. I don't I don't think I said that in the video, but I didn't play Club Club. Maybe? Yeah, I got the Archie. Oh, I you got the bearing. How well do you take this? I want to tank it. Watch this. Nope. <laughs>
Bye bye. <laughs> this is the is so not good on on my team. It's really awkward because it, it might be my downfall. That would be pretty embarrassing with a battle with Raiden, uh, God of War, Kratos. You really fail to succeed to take down Club Penguin. No, no, no. Club Penguin has insane feats. <laughs> Yo, look so, at it. Those, those are some fat feet, bro. Feats isn't. I didn't mean his actual feet. I meant feats isn't the things that he's capable of, the things that he's done. In power scaling, feats references the things that they do in order to scale their power, like lifting a mountain or throwing a ball really hard. That's what I meant. I thought I meant that the Club Penguin had crazy feats because he like skis down mountains or something. <laughs> He's done, not his little, little flappers. I meant his actual feet. We randomize our starter Pokemon, but only get to see their feet to choose which one we want. Okay, his, uh, he has insane feet too. I know you said this is your scarfed mon. I never said that. I don't know I what you're know talking you about. I know you said that, so I'm gonna go ahead I and sack off Raiden. Okay. He's gonna go, go no. and join the underworld, bro. Bring out the ghosts of Sparta. This is Thor, the equivalent. We're gonna have our showdown. There's still yeah. another character I haven't shown off yet. Okay, well, I'm waiting to see him. That's fine. I'll kill him, too. That's all right. Okay. I really hope that I can outspeed this, because if I don't, I think I'm going to die. Scarfed? I'm pretty sure you do outspeed, actually. Dylan, it's not scarfed. I didn't say that. Oh, no. bye. No! Dude, he's so strong. He just one shot me. Look, one hit. This thing is so powerful. I mean, he is the God of War. It makes sense. You're not oh taking that, God. brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Kratos wins again. Yeah, literally. Um, Is Kratos just that good? I mean, look at them calves, dude. He's been hitting them toe raises like all day. True. My scoffer was Glaceon and that's dead. And nothing is ha has higher speed than Electivire. That's rough, buddy. Corn. Come on, corn. You've got this. Corn is the god of uh, the god of blood and skulls. Thank you for the knowledge there. Well, I it's appreciate god. I'm, it. I'm fighting. It's, it's another god fighting god. I'm just, it's thematic, you know. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm. I'm not it is. I, I tried to explain. Dylan doesn't care. I like Warhammer 40k. I'm sorry. I like Warhammer 40k. Also, the Lord Ruler name that I said that I mentioned earlier is from Mistborn, one of the greatest fantasy book series of all time. You should read. It's really good. And Corn is from Warhammer 40k. He's the. He's a. He's another god. So it makes sense for him to fight Kratos. Not oh, fucking god. Fucking Dylan, man. In a way. Don't worry. He's just gotta go recharge. We're gonna go, go back <laughs> out the club, England. Let's You're go. Buddy, do you take this? Let's go! Nope! He didn't take it! <laughs> he did not take it, poor guy! The poor little penguin! Mm, let's see. Alright, let's go to my last guy. BB? Wait, BB. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this Final Fantasy? That's Final Fantasy, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's Final Fantasy. It's gotta be psychic, because he's, he's a wizard, right? It is a wizard, yes. Perhaps. But... Fly Blitz is not very effective, so Rock? Rock Wizard, maybe? Something like that? I'm letting you try for Rock out. Wizard. Put all the puzzle I don't know why together. I said Rock Wizard. Oh. His ability is focus in Final Fantasy, which powers up his special moves as magic. So in this oh. game, it's like Protean. He uses Thundaga, Blizzaga, and uh, Fireaga. So he has Fire Blast, Thunder, and Blizzard. And something else. And one other move, yes. Maybe heal, cure, something like that. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I was in. right. Oh, I actually predicted that was right. I thought he was a light wizard, though. Light wizards are more focused on recovery, and I think uh, what's it called dark wizards or black wizards are focused on damage. You. I know what to do. Oh, I know you're gonna. I don't miss these. I, knew it. I don't I miss knew these. It. No, you do. You do. miss it. Dodge, dodge, yeah. dodge, dodge. Yeah, let's go, BB. Good damage. Oh my days. Oh, okay. You're dead. You're so done. It's, all, it's yeah. Joe for you. Vivi, Vivi doesn't have the best defenses to kind of balance out the whole protein ability, but it's oh, fine. Yeah, it's that means we get to save this one last Pokemon, the one we all started with to show off at the end and grab our victory. And Wait, it's perfect are you gonna, that it's against you. Are you gonna beat me with? You're gonna beat me with my favorite video game of all time, Dylan. You're I really am. gonna do this to me. And every single move I have is super effective on you. Drill run. Yeah, I do that one. There he goes. Oh no, I don't pay. That's just such a good ending. He didn't even get to show off the parental bond either. He's not okay. gonna show it off. It had parental bond. Yeah, no, that that is great. You did a great job. That yeah, no, that, that was so good. Dylan did such a freaking good job with that. He's so smart. He's so talented. I love this. I think it's fantastic. I love watching these videos and just seeing how creative people get with the different ideas that they have for Pokemon that could be in the game. So make sure you subscribe to United Place. Do it. Subscribe to United Place. Do it right now. Go do it right now.